So once your shoulders are a, a bit stronger and healthier um, and you can safely get a weighted barbell overhead, you're going to unlock this really, really cool exercise. I use this move to really open up my shoulders and all the muscles between my ribs and down my trunk line. Um, so again, get a barbell around 20 to 30 pounds overhead, something you can safely stabilize without pain. Okay, And from there, just breathe, breathe. Externally rotate your shoulders, internally rotate your shoulders, pin those hands down to the floor with that weighted barbell, and then take your body through some movement patterns. So here I'm going through single leg hip extension uh, with my foot on the floor. Here this is single leg hip extension with both knees over my hips. As you create more load in the core, that's going to pull on your shoulders more or demand more strength and more range of motion. So again, this is going to really open up your shoulders and create new lines of strength in very extreme overhead postures. And so because I work on handstands and do a lot of overhead work with shoulder presses, um, I really have to have strength overhead. Now this next variation is amazing for opening up the trunk muscles and uh, the pec minor which is in the shoulder there in front of the chest. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm rotating my hips down to each side with my heels on the floor. It's a fantastic stretch. If you want to step that up, get a light ball. That ball that I just put between my knees is about six pounds. Uh, you'll know I'm going with a wider grip, kind of like a Y position. And now I'm rotating my hips back and forth and breathing in each posture to really open up my lats, my pec minor, my chest, my biceps, my triceps, just everything through the trunk there. And that weight challenges my core that much more, helps me keep my hips and knees more neutral. You take that ball away, your knees are going to slide around and, that, and that's all right but if you can get up to a level where you can move that ball around you know with a ball between your knees that's the way to do it so here you can see the Y grip that I'm going with so it's quite wide um, and that's gonna allow me to get into my chest differently than if my arms were shoulder width you can play with any grip width you want uh, but ultimately I found that when I was doing this rotation work it worked best with a wider grip so play with this move, open up the trunk, become aware of all the little muscles between your ribs and what's tight in your shoulders, what's not tight, what's tight in your hips. Um, and while doing this work, make sure that your neck is neutral, chin is tucked, neck is packed.